so in this video we're going to go through and configure our Amazon Fire TV out of the box and also then enable some super basic parental controls. First up we need to press the middle pause and play button. Let's go ahead and do that on the remote and here we can choose the language. We go to English Australia um, and then we can set up the Fire TV with the app um, or indeed set up with the remote um, but the app is probably a bit quicker and easier so let me just go ahead and scan the QR code with my iPhone camera here you can see I'm scanning the code here and then I tap open in Chrome I'm going to open Amazon Fire TV And then we simply tap open Amazon Fire TV. And then we tap down the bottom here with the plus set up new device. And here we're going to set up a streaming device, Fire TV. Searching for the Fire TV, it should find it on the Wi Fi network. It will then connect to the network and then we should see in the background the TV update and the Fire TV connects to the network, which is very cool. Fire TV was added to complete setup, follow the screen, the steps on your TV screen. We can tap continue at this point for it, for the device to carry on being, for my phone to be a remote control. But at this point, I'm going to wait now, I'm going to get rid of my phone, and I'm going to wait for the Fire TV to update. The Fire TV will already be linked to my Amazon account because I was signed in to the Fire TV app on my phone. And now we'll just wait for the Fire TV to complete. Just finishing its updates. You can see it's signing into Amazon.com. It's registering the device now, and it will now register this 4K Fire TV stick to my specific Amazon account that was registered against my Fire TV app on my iPhone. I can at this point change the account to something else, but I'm happy that it's linked to the correct account, so I'm simply going to click Continue. It can go and get some backups of the Fire TV from the cloud. I can either restore those and the privacy settings and parental control settings, or I can skip. And we're going to skip them for the purposes of this demonstration today to show you how we configure the parental controls. So let's go skip. We'll wait for the remote and the device to configure, and then let's have a look at the super basic parental control settings that we can enable. It's just tuning itself to the local environment, so I'm going to do that. And it's trying to determine the TV and the HDMI controls for volume up and power off and so on. Testing the remote is working and it's working beautifully. Did the volume change? Yes, it changed. Thank you. And now the Fire TV remote is set up, which means I can control my TV with the Fire TV remote for things like volume up and power. And now I could select some of the apps that I would like to be installed on the Fire TV. Um, I'll do that super quick and we'll just select Netflix and maybe Disney as a super quick intro. I'm not going to select the others, but I don't get any option to continue until we scroll all the way to the right. And then finally, here we can press the play and pause button to continue. So I'll do that. Happy that it's going to add those apps to the home screen. And I'm going to click finish. And it's here that it gives us the option by default that we can enable parental controls. Uh, now, this page says it's designed with children and parents in mind. To be fair, the, the controls are entirely rudimentary. And it's basically just um, enabling a pin for things like content and for app launching uh, and only then is supported inside Prime. Um, so you do need to be aware that 
other parental controls for content restrictions for other apps will need to be controlled specifically inside the app itself, like Disney or Netflix. But these parental controls for content will work with something like Amazon Prime. So keep that in mind. Let's tap and enable the parental controls. I'm going to set a pin on this device. It's enabled the parental controls and you see that the parental controls will pin protect purchases, pin protect app launches, um, and enable viewing restrictions for content. So that's fine. It's enabled those by default. We can see what they are in a minute. Here's the welcome screen with things like using Alexa and navigating the main menu. I'm simply going to click OK and accept all of that. And then we're going to log in as myself or as my primary account. And then if we scroll on the TV across to the right hand side on the little settings cog here, let's go have a look at the parental controls. So to find the parental controls, they are under account and profile settings. Let's go and have a look at that. I need to enter the pin first, which I previously created. And then if we scroll down, we can see parental controls here to restrict access to videos, purchasing and certain types of content. Let's go and have a look at that. And here you can see firstly parental controls are on, pin protected purchases are on, viewing restrictions are enabled, which restricts viewing of prime videos based on those ratings. Note it only mentions prime. It does not apply this to other programs like Netflix or Disney Plus. You need to enable the restrictions inside those apps specifically. I'm happy with these viewing restrictions though, PG and G, um, uh, and, and we'll leave the others. So anything that's above that will need a pin in order to watch it on Amazon Prime. I'm going to tap the little return button. Now the pin protect app launches means that when my child goes to open something like Disney Plus, they will need to enter the pin. That's entirely annoying because I'm happy for them to use those apps and I need to configure those changes inside the app itself. So at this point, I'm actually going to turn off the app launches, but I'm going to turn on the pin protect for Amazon photos because I don't ever want them using that anyway. Happy with those configurations now, I'm going to tap the little return button on the remote control. I'm going to return again to get out of this setting. And now I'm back home. And let's have a look at the content restrictions to see if it's working. Let's go to home. Let's go to something like Madagascar. You can see it's PG, so it should work automatically and it should not prompt me to load it on Prime. Let's go and click watch now with Prime and it should work straight away. Note that there was no prompt for a pen, um, but let's go and try and load something else. Uh, for example, something with a adult rating M, for example, we'll try and load the peripheral and you will note that when we press play on this, it prompts for the pen. So that's as complicated as, as these parental controls get on Amazon TV, Fire TV. It's perfect though, it, and this will apply to all users and all profiles on this device. Um, so it is device specific, not profile specific. That's it for the purposes of this demonstration. We're going to leave it at this. I hope it's been helpful for, to you, and we'll see you in the next video.